Hi everyone, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I have been working on components of operating system and in this video I will discuss one of the component of operating system which is process management. Okay, so now uh, here as you can see I have listed down some points along with an example and we will try to discuss everything about process management with help of these points okay so now let us start our discussion with the first point here the first point says a program under execution is known as a process so we will try to understand this definition of process with the help of this diagram so whenever i create a program whenever i make a file then i will store that file inside the secondary memory and my and that file may be a java file c++ file or any other file okay so I will be storing that file inside the secondary memory when I put that file inside my secondary memory now that file becomes a program and I will be one by one storing the programs inside the secondary memory and now I want to execute these programs so for these programs to get executed uh, I need to send these programs inside the main memory as you can see here one by one I have moved programs into main memory and now these are termed as process okay so now they are waiting to get execution inside the cpu okay so that's what a program under execution is known as process okay so these all these processes are ready to get executed inside the cpu so now one by one i will be moving one by one cpu will be selecting each and every process from the main memory and then it will execute okay so the this process of selecting each and every process from this main memory can be handled by various scheduling algorithm so that we'll see uh, in our upcoming videos next point operating system manage and controls the execution of various processes so now all these activities is managed and controlled by the operating system okay next point in multi programming systems operating system decides which process to assign the cpu and how long cpu can execute that process now here we are talking in terms of multi programming systems okay so as we have discussed in our earlier videos about multi programming systems where these systems are capable enough in executing more than one process at that same time that doesn't mean simultaneously this systems are capable enough to execute more than one process okay they can make a context switch between process 1 and process 2 which makes us believe that cpu or the system is executing more than one process at the same time but in reality the systems will be executing only one process at a time okay so in multi programming systems operating system decides okay so in this type of systems which is multi programming systems operating system decide which process to assign the cpu okay so as you can see here i have loaded the processes inside my main memory and now it's the duty of the operating system to select any process from this main memory and send it to the cpu that's what it's saying here it this operating system decides which process to assign the cpu and how long cpu can execute that process okay and uh, it's the responsibility of the operating system to load or to select any of the process from the main memory and operating system also decides how long that cpu can execute that process um, in our earlier videos we have seen that in some systems each and every process will be allocated some span of time and the cpu can execute that process only that duration okay how much ever time duration is been allocated for that process cpu has to execute only that duration of time it's also the responsibility of the operating system to move the processes or to select any of the process from the main memory and set the time for these processes to get executed inside the cpu okay the task of deciding which process to allocate for cpu and for how long is termed as process scheduling so the uh, task of operating system to decide which process to allocate the cpu um, and how long the cpu has to be allocated that process that is termed as process scheduling okay so now the next point is operating system keeps track of processor and status of process okay by the time when cpu is busy in executing any process 
operating system continuously keep track the status of the processes how many processes are in the queue again how many processes are ready to get executed inside the cpu because the moment when cpu completes the execution for any process immediately next operating system has to send the next process to the cpu because operating system cannot afford cpu to sit idle okay so that's why operating system has to continuously keep track of processor and the status of the process next point it allocates processes to the processor okay. as i have told you that operating system is responsible in allocating these processes from the main memory to the cpu or the processor and last point deallocates processes from the processor when they are no longer required okay and it's also the responsibility of the operating system to deallocate the processes from the cpu if those processes are no longer required in the cpu or if if that process has completed its execution then operating system will send that process out from the cpu this is just an introduction of what is process and uh, what are the responsibilities of operating system in terms of process management okay so we will be going to deal with this topic in detail in our upcoming videos this is just an introduction video for process management so that's all for this video uh, so in this video we have discussed a little bit of explanation about process i hope you understood each and every point of this process management and if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching